Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the MIC chat. Today we got a really cool episode where Austin, Aloha Trader, one of our moderators in MIC chat, talks about one of the best topics you can talk about. And not only is it an IMMP daily recap, he talks about anticipation versus confirmation, one of our biggest lessons to our members in the My Investing Club community. This is huge. And while this is just a preview today, guys, if you want to watch the full-length video or any of our exclusive content and full-length videos, then become a member of MIC. All right, let's get into it. Hey, everybody. Austin here. Uh, Going to do a trade recap I did today on, or yesterday, on IMMP. Uh, stock I traded, I lost on it. Um, I want to go over. It's a really stupid loss, man. This is already, this is going to be probably the most embarrassing um, uh recap video I'm going to do because it's such a dumb loss. But um, IMMP was a stock that was up uh, pretty decently in the morning and it, it, got, hit in pr it got hit pretty hard pre-market. And I was going over the, I, I actually did a kind of a write-up on this stock pre-market right before it opened. Um, well, I want to go over that first. So I, I went over uh, this in the chat, and I said how I approach IMMP. I looked at its up. I immediately, I, I mean, I immediately look for the float. Um, what the news is? The news is patent for cancer. They had 25 million share float. I, I wanted to see how much trade trading volume it had pre market. It had three million shares. There was two news is out. Um, one of them being what I call an FLE, a forward looking event. You know, they had a conference or um, uh, a webcast. Sorry. And so that, you know, there's potential for it to be a long, you know, those are potential like indicators for me. Next, I look at the daily chart levels and I, and I pointed them out here, the three, 350, 3, 250 and 285 level. And the, where I got that was over here, you know, the $3 is an obvious um, whole dollar resistance. The 250 was the level that um, we broke out of, but the 285 level right here was like, Kind of like where like this area this area was basing and where it per perked out here. So this is the level I was interested in uh, going into the morning. Like if that level is going to be the top or if that level is going to be the bottom. If it becomes relevant. When we opened, we were up here at 320. So I didn't know if it was going to be relevant. So if it tanked, I knew it would be relevant. And if it spiked, I, I was looking at the three. 80 level here um, if if it became relevant, but I'm more of a long bias trader So I'm looking to see Lower levels be relevant for recoveries. That's kind of my my niche But this trade I messed it up and we're gonna go over it But anyway, then I look for the filings um, for dilutive properties and and I noticed that they had a couple small ones But they could have been gone already. I don't know if if, if dilution has occurred yet It's not a huge aspect to my trading but Given that there was no volume on the chart recently on the daily chart, you can see it over here. I was like, uh, they could use it today. Like it was in my mind. And I also take into consideration the market sentiment. Like we had um, we had three stocks give offerings last week. We had BIOC give an offering, Alt give an offering, and uh, what was the last one? Anyway, there were there were three. There was Alt, BIOC, and oh VXRT, the intraday offering. And SLNO had that big tank that day. That it had a huge tank. I got a good short out of that one. But yeah, and so we had like kind of like four really harsh bearish activity in the in the small cap market. And so that's kind of weighing on my decisions too. Um, um, like we're you know we're in a market where big moves are possible, but recently it's starting to slow. Like you know I feel like shorts are going to get a little bit easier. And IMMP was the old PBMD, which is a known runner, a known turd. So I put all that together for my thesis and I said that this was a short. I thought it was a short given um, that it, it had 25 million shares in the float, um, which is higher than normal and all of these uh, all of these other factors. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. 
Just wanted to reach out and say, if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs and chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.